This is South Malton, the sole surviving market town in North Devon. It stands on a major tourist route at the gateway to Exmoor and serves an overall population of 13,000 people as well as thousands of tourists making use of the nearby moors, beaches and other attractions throughout the summer months. We're proud of South Malton, but even we can see the need for a radical change of mindset to bring it into the 21st century whilst at the same time maintaining links with the past. Fifty years ago, almost every business in town served the local agricultural industry. Today, a new mix of shops reflects the changing times. There are some 70 independent retailers aimed at tourists as well as locals, alongside pubs and cafes, and a thriving cultural scene aimed at young and old alike. But South Walton is still a farming community at heart. There's a large agricultural store, a weekly cattle market right in the heart of the town where farmers mingle and do business as they have done for hundreds of years. And most locals time their shopping trips to coincide with a twice weekly pannier market that sells everything from traditional fruit and vegetables and dairy products to delicacies that would have turned a few heads when it first opened over a hundred years ago. And the red one yeah. Today change is in the air again. The prospect of a large national supermarket opening alongside the High Street and Pannier Market means more people coming into town all through the week. This is just the wake-up call we need. If we're to make sure people don't bypass the town centre to do all their shopping under one roof, we need to spend time, effort and yes, money. So how will we use the funds available through the Mary Porters Initiative to kickstart our high street and town centre and make South Malton a shopping, leisure and dining destination in its own right? The priority is to sell all the town offers more effectively to passing motorists and to guide people through the attractions we do offer with clear signposting from the edge of town and around the centre. The funds will help us to brighten up the pedestrian access to the town centre with innovative use of all the available spaces and give tired high street buildings a much needed lick of paint. But most importantly, we need to help local businesses to help themselves. Most operate at subsistence level, so our aim is to increase footfall by 20%. It can be done. When we run our Seven Summer Saturdays Festival of Music and Dance, trade in the panning market goes up by 20%. But the effort is all voluntary. We want to be able to fund and run similar initiatives throughout the year and provide a purpose-built space for performances, from street dance to classical music, right in the heart of the town. Many shops are still rooted in the past, refusing to embrace opening times taken for granted elsewhere. Closing early two afternoons a week is stifling business, so we will encourage a culture change. Six day a week opening to give visitors what they want, when they want it. And finally, we want to build on the number of alternative events that use the glorious Pannier Market building, the jewel in South Malton's crown. It has hosted one-off events like the Winter Wonderland, the Fat Stock Market and Apple Festival. All bring trade into the town centre, which benefits everyone. But for most of the year, it's no more than a glorified car park. We will actively encourage a full programme of events throughout the year to make it more than just a twice-weekly destination. So we need welcoming and clear signposting, a colourful and diverse town centre that stays open for business year-round, a programme of festivals and events to showcase both our heritage and our place as a thriving destination for locals and visitors alike. In South Malton. We